Hello everybody, welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Uh, today we're going to change it up, do something a little bit different here. We're going to do a little episode called Cooking with the Sign Man. And you're going to ask, what's that have to do with traffic signs? And you are correct. It has absolutely nothing to do with traffic signs, but I just like to mix it up, make it a little fun here sometimes on my channel. Um, and also, i had been off work for a little while. I had a um, hole developed in my diaphragm and my colon got up in the heart and lung and I had to get it all pushed back down. Okay, everything's fine now. Uh, so anyways, we're going to um, do this little episode here, Cooking with the Sign Man, and we're going to make America smoke again. That's not a political statement. It's just more or less, um, I think it's time to get rid of the barbecues, the, the charcoal barbecues. Those things are messy, dirty, nasty. And I like my trigger barbecue uh, pellet smoker. There's all kinds of them. There's, uh, you know, Green Mountain and there's tons of different ones. Anyways, I just happen to have a trigger. Uh, I paid a little bit too much for it. Get a cheaper one if you want. But anyways, um, anyway, yeah, so we're going to do a little episode here. We're going to make some ribs, you know, food of the gods. I'm going to um, go ahead and smoke them, my 3 2, one method. We're going to put uh, three hours on the barbecue at a low temperature, let, let it draw in some of that smoke and flavor. And it's going to be great. And then uh, for two hours, we're going to steam them in some foil. We'll put some uh, different stuff in anyways. Uh, I'll show you as it goes on. I don't want to spoil the fun all for you. So you're just going to have to watch, see what happens. Here we go. All right, here we go. Um, Ribs usually there's that little silver membrane skin on below. Make sure you remove that and everything. Um, there's a little bit of fat on here. You can trim some of it off if you'd like. Uh, you don't have to get all super crazy with it. I so my rub that I use, I use two tablespoons of kosher salt, about two and a half, a little bit more, probably a, like a two tablespoons to three stables, tablespoons of black pepper. Add in the kosher salt, black pepper, stir it up. And then what I do is I add in some cayenne pepper. Don't get too crazy on it, it gets pretty, pretty hot. We'll just sprinkle in some. And once I add my cayenne pepper in there, I'm gonna give it a little stir. I don't wanna add too much of that cayenne pepper, it gets a little, uh, crazy. Well, we'll just add in a little bit so we get a little color in there. And touch a little touch more. Okay. And then we go ahead. You can use whatever kind of rub you want, but I just prefer to use the old salt and pepper with a little cayenne pepper here. I use a pretty liberal amount so you coat it really good. Um, you can coat it sometimes with a, uh, a mustard. Uh, some people do that. Or they'll coat it with a, uh, you know, uh, oil or something like that. I just prefer to put my rub on and then just spray on a little uh, uh, cooking oil. It helps the uh, your rub stick to the uh, your meats. And we'll just go ahead and do a little. You know, people do the mustard to make it stick. That just gets your hands all gooey and icky. You know, if you want to use some organic mustard or whatever. I just prefer to do this and then I just spray on the uh, liquid here. And don't forget to get all, all sides. You can, uh, end of the ribs matter too, you know. Put the sides all here. Okay, once you get that on, spray down the sides, the ends. So everything will still stick, turn it back over. We're gonna smoke this uh, bone side down, meat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and finish off a little bit more of the rub on here. Spray on a little of my cooking oil. All set for the right, smoke. Here we go. We're gonna just turn our trigger on to smoke. We're gonna throw our ribs on, put the bone side down. Shut the lid. It's set for smoke. And we're gonna check back on it in about an hour. We'll put a little spritz on it, but it's gonna sit in here for three hours and get some of that smoke flavor. Okay, we're about an hour or so into the, our cook of our ribs here. And we're gonna do, because I got a little spray bottle here, and I put a little uh, some Hansen's natural apple juice in there. We're gonna go out, we're gonna spritz it down and keep it kind of uh, a little bit moist. We're gonna kind of open it up here and see. I don't like to uh, open the lid too much because you know what they say? If you're looking, you ain't cooking. Yeah, temperature's holding about 200 degrees. I got it set at uh, about 100. And, where do I got that set on? Uh, I got it set just a little bit above smoke there. 
Nose up. Oh yeah, you can see the smoke coming off there. We're just gonna spritz these down a bit. A little moisture on those things so they don't dry out. There we go, a little spritz done there on the, uh, with some apple juice. And we're gonna check those back in about another hour or so. We're gonna let them go about three hours on the uh, barbecue there, on the Traeger, on the smoker. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna wrap them in some foil. And we're gonna uh, bathe them in a little apple juice. We'll put a little brown sugar and some honey on them and let them sit in the barbecue. I'd love to put a little honey in there. And then with that, uh, What's going to happen then, we're going to put it in, a, we're going to wrap it in foil and it's going to steam in there and it's going to draw in all those juices. We'll put a little apple, uh, apple juice in there, some uh, brown sugar, some honey, and we'll sprinkle down just a little touch of uh, some more, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, uh, cayenne pepper, a little bit on there. We want to give it, so when it's done, it's going to get this, uh, you're going to have some hotness in there. You're going to have some sweet, um, I love ribs when they taste like candy, you know. Um, the food of the gods. So uh, we're going to do that and uh, I'll show you when we get back. Uh, we'll spritz them one more time. I'm not going to bore you with those uh, details. But when we're ready to wrap them up into their foil boats and put them back on for the barbecue for another couple hours. Um, we'll three hours, we're going to go take those things off the barbecue right now. Um, excuse me, not the barbecue, the smoker. I don't worry about temperature or anything like that when I'm cooking these ribs because it's not really going to be necessary. Let's take a look at these. side here but then we're gonna flip it upside down so that it can cook in all its juices and stuff so what we're gonna do let me spritz it down a little bit make sure some of the uh, I got this spray butter here we're just gonna make sure some of the uh, brown sugar and stuff is gonna stick to it we're seeing what's gonna happen it's gonna taste even better more flavors you can put into stuff that's what it's all about it's flavor you know boring just putting a piece of meat on sprinkle some salt and pepper and let it go I mean it should be a crime so what we're gonna do take some uh, dark brown sugar and how much you put on depends on your your, your taste your flavor your whatever uh, put some on okay. Put some brown sugar on there oh yeah that's looking good then what we want to do we're gonna drizzle some honey on it. All right, don't be afraid to put a little honey on there. Like I said, it's all about the flavor. We're seeing this, it's gonna taste like candy. And you can go ahead and put some more rub on if you want or anything, but I decided not to because I did taste some of the rub and hmm, a little, not too much cayenne pepper, but I got just enough where I don't want to ruin it by adding more cayenne pepper. So what we're gonna do, flip these over. Ow, those are hot. And we'll, you know, spritz it down with a little more spray butter here. I get that. And you don't have to put as much brown sugar on here as we did on the back. We're just going to put a little bit more honey on there. You can even, I've taken a, um, like apricot pineapple preserves or whatever flavor you like. I don't know, I'm not into strawberry too much, but the apricot was pretty good. So anyways, now that we got our foil all together, I got like, I bought some foil today and of course I bought the not cheap kind, but I got the kind that's not really uh, trying to support my, uh, all of my, uh, ribs here, so I had to go, you know, two, three layers of it. Anyways, I got two cups of apple juice here. I'm not going to use all the apple juice. See how much I am going to use here. I'm going to pour a little on this end. And I'm going to pour a little down on this end. Okay, so, you know, I, I used almost two cups of apple juice. Go ahead, and we're going to see what these are. 
fold the ends over. We don't want any steam to escape here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw another layer of foil. I don't want any of that steam to escape. I want it to sit here and I want it to steam in its own. That honey, that brown sugar, that butter, and it's just going to get the nice flavor in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the barbecue. I'm going to, uh, excuse me, the smoker, and I'm going to turn it up to 225. And we're going to let it sit for two hours on there, and then we'll be back. All right, here we are back again with Making America Smoke again. So we've got our ribs here. We're gonna open them up. They've been sitting in here for two hours, steaming up, getting more tender. And watch out, because that could be, a... yeah, those are hot. Lots of liquid in there. Let's see if you can see all that liquid. Yeah, lots of liquid in here. Let's see all that. Steaming in that liquid, so we're going to take them out and then we're going to put some barbecue sauce on them. Then we're going to put them back on the barbecue for however long it takes for the um, barbecue sauce to get into the uh, kind of caramelize on the uh, ribs. What I did is I took some stubs, spicy, and I toned it down with a little of this whatever I had here, this TJ's organic KSC style. A little tin of hot, kind of a little sweet in there, along with the brown sugar and the honey should be should taste really good when we're done so I'll be right back I'm gonna put these on the barbecue uh, like I said we're gonna just you know brush on the barbecue sauce and we'll leave them on for about another hour at 225 okay here we are finished rack of ribs it's been on the smoker three hours on smoke we wrapped it we covered it with some uh, apple juice honey brown sugar and we let it rest and steam in that and get moist for two hours and then I put barbecue sauce on it and I left it on probably about 35-40 minutes you can longer I, I don't I'm not a big barbecue sauce fan I just like it for the flavor so it's not caked on thick and it got to um, a, a chance to, to to work itself in what I like to do is flip these over cut right out and see the bones I like to cut them from the back side because you can see the uh, bone. Ooh, hot. But look at that. Done. You don't, uh, these I don't worry about the temperature because the, the amount of time that they cook, it's going to be fine. You're not going to have to worry about uh, the, the temperature of the meat and anything. So it cooked for... Uh, let's see three four five hours and about five and a half hours on the grill so you can see the nice smoke ring give these a little taste mm, just comes right off the bone that is excuse me while I have a moment here delicious you can taste some of the uh, honey the brown sugar a little hot a little spicy a little sweet Mm -mm -mm. nothing like making America smoke again all right there you have it some baby back ribs really easy simple recipe I do that it's called a three two one method um, and the smoker I have a Traeger like I said you can get cheaper pellet smokers but Traeger I love I love it don't get me wrong it's great 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 smoker um, so what I do is I put them in um, three hours but before you do you know put your rubs on whatever whatever you like I just do the simple salt uh, pepper some cayenne pepper you can even put in a little garlic powder if you want onion powder whatever I just do those three basic ingredients and I make sure I don't get it too hot because that cayenne pepper you get carried away with that stuff gets really hot anyways go ahead you can rub them down with mustard or I just do the spray butter it's easier um, so I go ahead and put those on the barbecue I do this it has a smoke setting then I go one up I think it's like 180 or something like that so I'll smoke them for three hours spritz them an hour every hour or so two or three times during that three hour period um, with some apple juice in a spray bottle and then I take them out put them in those foil, foil make like a little foil boat I suggest getting the really wide foil 
uh, the double, the, the thick stuff, and you just use two layers. It works so much easier than having to piece those little pieces together. Next time they were out, so I didn't get the big stuff. Anyways, put it in there for two hours. Um, you could go ahead and put, uh, I love putting the brown sugar, the honey on there. It's just really good. Um, I've done in place of the honey, I've put, uh, I've tried them with uh, some like apricot jam or pineapple jam or apricot pineapple mixed together. Um, it, it's, it's, it's good. You can put whatever you want. Anyways, and then I put two cups of apple juice in. I've tried putting, I've tried a little getting creative sometimes of putting in a little apple cider vinegar give it a little bit more f flavor but eh, I still like this this recipe that I just did wrap them up two hours take them out and then um, you know pour all the liquid out and everything put them back on a, a cookie sheet or whatever you whatever you want put some barbecue sauce whatever likings you like barbecue sauce uh, you can make your own or whatever you want to do and then I, I put it back on the barbecue long enough to let that barbecue um, sauce just glaze on there um, so it could take 30 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. It just depends on your liking on how, and how thick you put the barbecue sauce on. Then uh, when you pull those things out, you're supposed to let them rest. You know, everybody says, oh, cover it and let everything rest. After I've been cooking those ribs for seven, six, seven hours, I want to get in there and taste them. So they're just nothing like those things. They're so sweet. It just depends on the flavors you put in there, but ain't nothing like it. Alrighty. As always, thanks for watching.